We are going to Graham's house. Come on, get your shoes. Ella, what's your shirt say? It says, week, week means I love you in guinea pig. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to the vlog. You got to peek over. Hello. <laughs> Can't see over your mommy. How is everybody doing? Where are we going today, Ella? We're going to Graham's we are going to Graham's house because the weather is not favorable for much else. But only the good die that makes me feel better. Even just the tiniest bit of makeup makes me feel a little bit better. Like I can get my day started. I already know some of you are gonna ask where this shirt is from. I got myself like a whole new spring and summer wardrobe affordable, which I'm proud of myself for. And I notice I order everything way too big, way too big. I got like four X's and stuff because I'm like, I'm super self-conscious in my body right now. And I, it's not, I have not been super self-conscious in my body in a long time. And I don't understand why. Because like, I'm not even the heaviest I've ever been in my life. I'm heavy, I'm a big girl. But I'm not the heaviest I've ever been. And yet my body is still feels a little foreign. I'm sure it's a postpartum thing and I breastfed. So like, oh, they are sad, they are sad. Long story short, I got this t-shirt from Glitzy Girls and I got a bunch of t-shirts for like this kind of moment in time that would make me happy. And this makes me happy. Um, I got some like bright fun summer shirts for like school drop off, for lazy weekend days where I would just wanna like wear a fun color, it's raining, you get the vibe. Uh, Glitzy Girls, I will stand by this forever, has the best t-shirts and they go up to 6X. I'll leave a link down below if you guys wanna shop. They have the best t-shirts, they wash perfectly. I've had some of my t-shirts for three years and I love them. And then I got like, um, like regular summer clothes, like tank tops and stuff like that from Amazon. And I'll show you guys later, I got a pair of pants from Amazon that I just can't even. They're so good. They're like lounge pants. I don't know. Not that you guys might not care, but I gotta start buying, this shirt's a 4X, it's huge. And I'm, like I said, I'm big, but I gotta start wearing clothes that fit me better. I, I don't understand why I'm so self-conscious right now. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite, but we're working through it. We'll be fine. Kids, are we ready? I don't ever wanna live in a world where we don't live three minutes away from my mom. I never want to know that life. So wherever we go, they go. And if you're wondering where John is, he's doing our taxes. Buzzkill, what a snuggle. Snuggle is a fabric softener. It is, it is Huggy's a fabric softener. Yeah. Yes, Huggy's a fabric softener. Okay. Hello. Oh, it smells good in here. Okay, stand up or, or sit down. Are you making good food or is that for dinner? For dinner. Oh, Why? bummer. <laughs> it smells good. It smells good. Say hi to the vlog. Hey there, Boopal Hopples. How's the hoppy boppy? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. I know you've heard of uh, pentatonics, right? Duh. I'm kind of going through a Pen phase. It's the best phase. Yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, there's some really good stuff out there. Oh, I'm telling you, they're have the best. The Hallelujah? Yeah, all, their Christmas album? Yes, oh. I have it, I just bought it. Oh, yay. Are you new to Pentatonix? No, I've liked them for a while, but I was just listening to uh, the, they, they've they got uh, An Amazing Grace and mm -hmm. uh, Chains released or- um, Have you heard the Drummer Boy song yet? Yeah, oh. I was just listening to that this morning. Oh. We watched, remember that singing show we watched when yeah. I lived here? Yeah. The um. It was the acapella sing-off show where they had like different competitors. Is, was it a comedy? No, it was the singing show that we watched where they competed oh, for. Oh yeah, because they won. Yeah, they won. Yeah. Yeah. We and, watched that show. And I've been, I've been like the last few days, I've been fo heavy focused on them just because they kind of struck a nerve. It's a great place to go. They're great. Yeah. They did a song with Lindsey Sterling. She's a violinist. Yeah. Look that up next. Also, they're doing some new stuff. The the one, hey Kevin, you know the 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 beatboxer. Yeah. He also plays cello. Yeah. I know. And they're doing, they just did, I was just listening to Shallow. Mm. They just did uh, yeah. their version of Shallow. Mitch is their uh, alto, I think. No, Mitch is the super high yeah. soprano, male soprano. Yeah. Oh. And uh, him and um, 
Scott, Scott. they Boy. had their own little show on YouTube called Super Fruit, which is like one of the first Hi, YouTube channels I watched yeah. years ago. Yeah. And I love them. I absolutely, everything yeah. pentatonics I love. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go watch them eventually. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna go to a concert. Oh, we have the same YouTube likes. We watch yeah. the same stuff. That's what I watch. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a nice daddy-daughter date for you too. Yeah, well, we'll do that. Let's find a concert. Okay. I know they just canceled their European tour, so maybe they'll do a US tour. Fingers crossed. What are you doing, son? Do you want some of Opus Toast? Hello. Yeah, I mean, I know you like acapella, so. I love acapella. It makes me feel feelings. <laughs> I'm so used to navigating the kitchen around him, Pop, but if he gets in your way and it's too much, I can get him out of here. I can step on him or around him. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. I'm having some kombucha. Have you seen that kombucha viral TikTok where she tries this it? This is my flavor. Oh, and she didn't like it? Yeah. This is our favorite brand, local. It's mom's Florida. favorite brand. Yep. <laughs> our ice cream for the whole entire family, 221 BC. Mm -hmm. Sarasota. With love in Sarasota. Ionetta. That's the new flavor that's really it's good. It's actually quite good. And I was a reluctant... Uh, is that good? That is good. I could drink that. I was okay. a reluctant kombucha guy. Myself. It's not too kombucha-y. Not exactly. And You're an athlete. She's an athlete, I told her. <laughs> Show me your push-ups, I want to see. And she was doing a spinning, and she did a, a yoga pose. Show me your push-ups. Show me an athlete move. Okay. Twist your can. Twist your can. Ooh. Everybody, do a twister can. Do a twister can. I don't know what that is. Show yeah, me. Show me. Oh, that's a good twister oh, can. A twister can. <laughs> Get on your knees. <laughs> yep. And now go down. <laughs> <laughs> that makes oh, that's a girl. Well, I'm going to call. Charmin. 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 She's like, now that you're down here. <laughs> What's the hiney dance, Elle? My heart is happy. My heart is happy. My heart is happy. My heart is happy. shower because let me take this out to be quite honest with you <laughs> it's daylight savings time and i woke up so grouchy just not in a good like mood but i have been consuming a lot of traditional homemaker content on youtube and i listened to this one woman oh my gosh i use that word way too much to not be able to say it specifically there we go hey what are you doing she oh just has a very calming voice i like the music and i don't really watch as much as i listen to her and um i don't know she just puts me in a really good headspace makes me feel really good about what i'm doing in my home and i don't know i'm gonna leave her channel linked here and down below her name is audrey and i don't know i just i've been listening to her so i knew from the last like week of listening to her that she puts me in a motivated good headspace so i put on a video and i was listening to it and i'm like okay i'm gonna go shower 
take a moment, wash my hair, skincare, you know, just make, start new, wake back up, right? Right? And then just get stuff done in my house because I've been keeping a really good routine. The laundry's due to go potty. I just started over. So I've been keeping a really good routine and like I've had like an awakening. I'm not, I always have awakenings because I have, I'm me. Anyway, um, I really enjoy the like simple little things in life, like taking care of my family, making dinner, just do, I'm trying to slow down and like, I know it seems silly, but I'm taking like moments to not rush through things. Like I hate doing the dishes, everyone does. Like who likes to do dishes? I'm sure there's a few out of you out there and I love you, I love that so much for you. But I've been staying on top of things because I, normal me would just put things off and be like, feel bad for myself that I have to do this stuff, but I love, I love, taking care of like my house and decorating for holidays and oh i'm taking the time <laughs> to slow down and enjoy like the little tasks that make my house run like that make our days go smooth that keep my kids happy and taken care of and i really do take a lot of pride in <laughs> mothering yeah, I do. I love it. It's my favorite thing I, I've ever done in my life and I loved being a stay-at-home mom even when it was hard. I really do enjoy it. What? Uh -huh. So I'm gonna just start taking you through my normal life and not worry about it being boring and hopefully give you a word of encouragement every once in a while and be completely honest when it sucks. <laughs> because I feel like as much as I share... You're hungry? As much as I share like my feelings and emotions, my mental health and stuff like that, um, I also want to like encourage you to um, find joy in the little things because it really does. It's what life is about for me, right? Huh? No, it's not. What's it about? Really? Okay. So, just. You know, maybe today do something that you just don't love to do, but try it and like find some joy in it. Hello. Say hi. 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 Good job. Hi. Trying to will myself through moments that I would take, not take for granted, but just I'm like, oh, you know what I mean? Ever have one of those days where you're just like, oh, I have to do this today. And you just aren't feeling it. Doing the things that seem like your everyday tasks, like making three meals a day, baby stuff, kids stuff. Um, it can sometimes feel like, Ugh. So, and this woman has inspired me to be a little less uh, about it and a little more like, huh, I get to do this. It helps. Because sometimes you're just like, oh my gosh. If I have to mash another avocado or figure out a decent meal for my kids every four hours. That's hard to will yourself through sometimes. You, you know what I'm saying? And it is my life. And I really do love to serve my family. And not all the time. <laughs> but like, I really do like it. It makes me feel accomplished at the end of my days because sometimes I just don't feel like I got anything accomplished. But if I look at the things that I do anyway, that I have to do, that really do take time. That's like a picture perfect avocado. He's teething, so I notice he's taking food by the mouth a lot easier. Like he's eating more of a variety of food this way than he is with his hands. He goes through weird phases like this sometimes. Sometimes he'll eat all of every, he'll just eat me out of house and home and try everything and then I notice when he's starting to get teeth um, he's not really into anything but like baby snacks you know what I mean so this is what we're doing for some nutrition <laughs> 